Today's lesson is on geometric ideas, and our objective today is for you, the students, to be able to identify and draw some geometric features, and those features include points, lines, line segments, rays, and planes, and many of these ideas are um, from fourth grade, so hopefully you will remember some of them. If not, we're going to take good notes and uh, remember them now in fifth grade. So in order to succeed in this lesson, you're going to have to know, uh, number one, that lines go on forever in two directions. All right. So if you have a line, it has arrows on the end of it, and it just keeps on going. Right. Those arrows signify forever. And that line segments and rays are part of a line. So if I put a point on there, now I have two rays coming off the line. There's a ray going that way, and there's a ray going that way from that point. And if I put two points on the line, I have a ray going that way, a line segment in between, and a ray going that way, and a line. So uh, there's a lot to remember in this lesson. Our notes for the uh, lesson today are, um, what is the definition of a point, line, line segment, ray, and plane? And so you can write your definitions here, and then some examples of each one of those things labeled down here. Um, the notes are... Uh, real short so they'll fit on there but you might might have to write a little bit small today all right so getting into the lesson and here is the vocabulary and actually here's what your notes are and this is pretty much the whole lesson so uh, let's take these one by one and talk about them all right the first thing that we have to talk about is a point and a point is just a single location in space anywhere in space that's named that little point right there that's point a uh, is a point and the way that we um, write our points are that or when we name the points and we just name that point a right so that's what we say we look at that and someone says hey what is what is that it's point a and then need a parenthesis there it needs quotation marks that's what we say point a uh, and then we label it as point a pretty simple right just one single point All right, the next thing that we have to talk about is a line right so a line take a look at our line here we have now two points right and that forms the line and a line is just an endless amount of points on a straight path right so anytime you have a line it's made up of little tiny dots or points they're so close together that they connect and form a line um, and uh, the, the line is made of two points and that's how you name the line so these two points are on the line in fact there's billions and trillions and inf infinite number of points on this line but we just named two of them b and c so we call this thing line B C All right. and then the way we abbreviate that or, or um, uh, a symbol for that is that we say that's B C and then we put a line above it but the line has to have arrows on the end right because the arrows signify that that's a line it goes on forever uh, so we say line B C here's a symbol for line B C and it is an endless amount of points along a straight path. All right, here's our next one. We're going to talk about a line segment. Okay, and a line segment is part of a line that's between two named points. So here is D and here is E. Those points have been named. And this is part of the line. Now the line, if it was a line, would continue all the way through D and E all the way out to the forever with arrows on it. Uh, but we're only taking a piece of that line, right? So two named points on a line. In between those two named points is a segment, and a segment is uh, the name for a piece. And so we say this is line segment, can you guess, DE. Uh, and the way that we abbreviate that, or the symbol for it is, we say DE, and then we put a line without arrows on it. On it right just put a line segment above it and the next thing that we're going to talk about is a ray and a ray is a super important one because it, they form uh, angles which is the next thing we're going to be 
learning here, but a ray is also a piece of a line, but it's a part of a line that has one end point, that's where it, the line starts, and then it goes on forever in one direction, so it goes through the other point and continues on. So it starts at one point, goes through another point, and continues on with an arrow at the end, and that's called a ray. Um, and we say it's, can you guess, ray L J. Now for the lines, you can call this line CB, and you can call this line segment ED. Um, it doesn't have a start or an end, it's just a line, and so um, you can put either one of the points before the other when you're naming it, but on an array you have to put the first point where it starts. Uh, you name that first, so you call this ray LJ, not JL, because it's not going in that direction. All right. And the way that we um, abbreviate that or put a symbol for it is we put L, J, and then a ray above it. All right. And the ray goes from the L to the J and has a one-way line right there. All right. So these particular things should be on your notes. You could pause it here and then move on to the next round of vocabulary. All right. Here's our line vocabulary. All right, so you see a bunch of lines here, and you're going to hear a bunch of different things describing lines. First of all, intersecting lines. That's our first thing that we're going to be talking about. And here we have two lines, right, one and the other, and it crosses, and right at the point of intersection, it's named uh, M, right there, the where they cross. All right, so any lines that cross are intersecting lines. Next is perpendicular lines, and perpendicular lines intersect and form a square. So they are intersecting lines that form a square corners. Now this little square here is not part of it. That just shows you that uh, these lines are perpendicular. Now we're moving on to our guided practice, and we're going to be drawing and labeling each one of these things here. You got a line segment array and a line and then some perpendicular and parallel lines. And so let's begin. So here's our first task. And it's going to be line segment TH. And with graph paper, it's pretty easy to make straight lines. And so I'm going to use my graph paper to do that. Uh, first of all, you need two points to make any kind of line or a line segment or array. And I'm going to name my points first. There's the first one that's point T, and then over here I'm going to label it point H. And now I have my two points. And a line segment, remember, is a piece of a line that starts on at one point and goes to but not through the other point. Uh, and so I have this segment of a line that if it were a line it would continue, but uh, since it's a piece or a segment of a line, it just is that. All right, so taking care of number one and now number two, we're going to do ray j k and uh, again you're going to start with your points just put your points on the paper j and then here's k and a ray starts at j and goes through k all right so i'm going to start at j and continue on through k and put an arrow on the end because a ray has a part of a line that starts in one place goes through another line and continues on or another, not another line, another point right there. All right, and then the third thing we need to do is make an, a line RS. All right, and so I'll put my points on there. There's R. There's S. Uh, and you can make them up and down, side to side. You can make them diagonal. It really doesn't matter. Um, as long as you are labeling the two points and then drawing a line that goes through both points. And I'm just tracing the graph paper line, right? Make it easier for myself to make a straight line uh, and then it continues on in in both directions through the points forever and that's what those arrows signify that just keeps on going forever all right number four now we need to make two lines right we need to make a b and we need that make that perpendicular to lm and with graph paper it's pretty simple because each one of these intersections forms perpendicular lines and then the lines are all parallel to each other so um, CD and UV will be easy to make too. All right so I need to make line AB first and I'm gonna make them kind of bigger right so um, there's A 
there's point B and we're talking about lines here so that line will go through A and continue on through B and with arrows continue forever and then LM uh, perpendicular lines form a square corner so I'm just gonna write there's point L here's point M and I'm gonna draw a line that goes through M whoops not perfectly straight going up and down and continues on forever and then it forms that little square corner there all right so there's two perpendicular lines AB and LM and on this one it talks about line segments because there's no arrows on the top of these so that segment CD is parallel to segment UV all right and so first I'm gonna draw my line segment CD and a line segment remember goes in between the two points not through them and then parallel to that I'm going to draw another line segment U and V now these parallel lines don't have to be equal in length they just have to be uh, running next to each other same distance apart forever uh, and then these things are parallel to each other because uh, you know they will never come together all right, last one we're going to draw is uh, just an intersection. Now the question is, do they always have to be parallel or always have to be perpendicular? And the answer is no, they can be just crossing in any way. So here is E and F. Oh, I missed F. Move F down a little bit. All right, so F's on the line, E's on the line. And now I'm going to draw a line X, Y. And label it X, Y. I have two intersecting lines. They are not forming parallel lines or uh, perpendicular lines. That isn't a square corner. It's just they're crossing, right? And so that's what intersect means. And then the line of intersection, it says uh, EF intersects X, Y, I should say at point G not and point G and uh, this would be the intersection right there and we just label that one G All right and there you have it so our to do is out uh, of the homework book lesson 10-1 uh, so it's H 10-1 we're doing problems 1 through 11 uh, and here's your reminder um, make notes and remember the vocabulary because it's important uh, as we go through the other lessons in geometry that you know um, you know parallel and rays and um, things like that points good luck